wanna do When I look in your eyes, I don't know how, but it feels like I'm drunk on you It's almost like you made me sad When I look at you smile, I don't know how, but it feels like I'm drunk on you It feels like I'm drunk on you It feels like I'm drunk on you Yo, what is going on, my friends? I am going to be showing you my attempt at a Titan Devour build. That's right. Devour is now available on a Titan, and we're going to be using it with Peacekeepers. Must be something really, really unique that you've not seen before. So we're going to dive right in here, my friends. You need to know what I'm running. And this is it right here. This is the key. Echo of Starvation is the new Void Fragment that became available after Guardians beat the new raid. Picking up an orb of power grants devour. This is the absolute key to all of this, as you can obviously tell. The other fragment that you really want to use is Echo of Harvest. Defeating weakened targets with precision final blows will create an orb of power. And then Echo of Undermining. Your void grenade weakens targets. So the whole key is getting orbs. In PvP, making orbs is not as easy as it was before. They obviously changed the masterwork system. Previously, I would have a really generous window of time in which to get two kills with any masterwork weapon and it would make an orb. That is no longer the case. I do have Kinetic Siphon on my helmet. This is the mod that you really want if you're going to try and make orbs with a Kinetic Weapon in PvP. But they've really shortened the window of time between kills in order to make the orb. So it is difficult, especially with a primary weapon, to make orbs this way. So I would recommend using a shotgun or some sort of special weapon. Well, it has to be a shotgun in the kinetic slot, at least for now anyway. There is a new stasis fusion rifle in the kinetic slot, but I believe that won't work because it's not technically kinetic because it's stasis. So that's one way you can make orbs with kinetic siphon. But the way that I was primarily making orbs for myself without relying on others was through this fragment right here, the Echo of Harvest fragment. And the way that I was doing it was using scatter grenades and you might think, why scatter grenades instead of, say, something like suppressor grenades? Well, my thing was, the way I use suppressor grenades, it's not, you know, immediate, right? There's a time for it to trigger and then do damage. The way I'm using scatter grenades is I'm just launching them at people so they get tagged, even if it's just a little bit. Even if they're just tagged once, the weaken kicks in from Echo of Undermining. And then I would use my Heritage Slug Shoddy, shoot them in the head, and it would pop out an orb. And then we have Devour. I was using peacekeepers with it because I figured what an amazing way it would be to get health back on kills with an SMG whilst running peacekeepers. So that's what I went with. I guess so you could really use anything you want really. It doesn't matter what you use as far as the exotic goes. You could go one-eyed mask for all our overkill but then I was thinking you know you don't really need to go to all this trouble if you're going to use one-eyed mask because it's going to give you your health back on pretty much every kill anyway. So that would just be overkill. So that's why I went with Peacekeepers. Heritage and Shayuras was the loadout in PvP. In PvE though, we were rocking the Submission and a Glaive. And obviously in PvE, this stuff is so much easier to get going than it is in PvP because multi-kills, orbs everywhere. It really is a breeze to get Devour going in PvE. Now in PvP, you know, once everybody gets supers, if you look around and you look for your teammates who are popping supers and making orbs, at around the halfway stage of the game, you will see a real uptick in your devour uptime. And that is obviously really good. But the reason why I wanted to show you the scatter grenade setup and the different fragments was because I wanted there to be ways for you to make orbs on your own in PvP without relying on obviously your teammates making orbs. But again, imagine six Titans in the Crucible, all with the devour perk on, all running bubble. And then from the halfway point of the game, every single Titan you see probably has devour active. That would be scary. But I think it's obviously a little bit corny to do it that way because, you know, that's an unusual circumstance that you're kind of forcing into the situation. Whereas, you know, organically producing the orbs yourself is probably going to be the best way to make your Devour Titan effective. But the truth of it is, in my opinion, there's just too many hoops to jump through here, really. I guess if you have a nice shotgun that you like or any special weapon and you're getting doubles with it frequently, really rapid doubles with no time in between the kills and you're making orbs like that that could be the way of course as well we're rocking taking charge high energy fire all of that stuff 
But it's actually really deadly, man, in PvP. When you pick up that orb, not only are you charged with light, but you have devour active as well. And it is really quite something, as you can see in the gameplay. So there it is, my friends. This is the Devour Titan. I want to know what you guys think about this in the comment section. Let me know. You guys think this is worth running in PvP or more of a novelty? I am kind of leaning more towards the novelty. But again, like I said, you pick up an orb and there's so much going on. But of course, it requires you to run a lot of fragments and dedicate a lot of stuff to the setup. Whereas if you really just want health back, you could just go one-eyed mask and do this a whole lot simpler. So guys, there it is. Hope you guys enjoyed it found this video useful or informative make sure to drop a like leave a comment and of course subscribe turn on notifications for more void 2.0 content we're gonna be really deep in, uh, diving into some builds here soon so keep an eye out for those and if you like void titan builds this is where you want to be much love